Hey, y'all. Test tomorrow. Um, it's our inverse test for algebraic reasoning. So just so y'all know, when we're completing each statement. These questions tomorrow are actually going to be um, true or false. Okay, so inverses are reflections across the y equals x, the linear parent function. Okay. So remember, when that's graphed, that's this line. Okay, diagonal. They're all... They're all reflection over the diagonal, over y equals x. Okay, when comparing attributes, remember that means opposites of, uh, or attributes of inverses, that means opposites. If f of x, so that's the original, has a y-intercept of 0, 3, then the inverse has an x-intercept at 3, 0. So remember, y-intercepts are where x equals 0, and uh, x-intercepts are where y equals 0. So they kind of have to flip-flop. Okay, so when comparing attributes of inverses, remember opposites, h of x has an x-intercept of 2, 0, and the inverse, h of negative 1x, has, will have a y-intercept of the opposite, so 0, 2. Okay, when comparing attributes of inverse, the domain of the inverse will be the same as the opposite. So what's the opposite of domain? Range of the original. Okay, when comparing attributes of the inverse, the range of the original is this. Therefore, the range was the opposite of range. The domain of the inverse will also be that. Okay, explain why if one graph has a maximum value of negative 4, that does not mean the inverse will have a minimum value of negative 4. So pay attention. If I draw a graph, maximum of negative 4, that would be somewhere here. So that would be like this. Well, if I reflect that over this, That means it's going to look like this. So this graph doesn't even have an, um, a maximum or minimum, okay? Because it goes up forever and down forever. It's going to keep getting wider forever. So that's why, because it reflects diagonally, okay? Not vertically up and down. Okay, explain why inverse functions have reverse domain and range. Because the equations are opposite. Okay. So looking at number eight, it says determine if the given relations are inverses. So I'm going to find a couple pretty points. Here's a pretty point. Here's a pretty point. Here's a pretty point. And that point is negative two, two. Okay, zero, three. And then 2, 4. So the opposite should work. 2, negative 2, 2, negative 2. Did it work? Yes. 3, 0, 3, 0. So that worked. And then 4, 2. And that worked as well. So this is a yes. This is an inverse. Okay. Looking at number 9. Determine if the given um, relations are inverses. So let's find a couple pretty points. Here's one, here's one, here's one. So this is negative 2, 0. This is negative 1, 2. And this is 0, 4. So this should have 0, negative 2. So 0, negative 2. Does it hit that point? No. So right away, I know this is not an inverse. Okay? Um, because at negative 2, this graph is way down here. We don't even know. Okay? Therefore, this is not an inverse. Oops, upside down. Okay, looking at number 10 and 11. So I like to build tables. So the table of the original looks like this. Negative 6, 4, negative 4, 2, and 0, negative 1. So I should see in my new table, in this, I should see 4, negative 6, 4, negative 6, uh, 2, negative 4, 2, negative 4, and uh, negative 1, 0, negative 1, 0. So this is a yes. This is an inverse. This is yes. So looking at number 11, this is negative 8, 4, negative 6, 3, 4, negative 5. So I should see 4, negative 8. This is negative 4, negative 8. So this is no. Right away, I see that the first point doesn't match. So I know it's not inverse. Okay. Number 12, guys, these are calculator problems. Let your calculator be your BFF on this test. So we're going to build a table. It's 
second plus so one, two. So we're going to build an equa a table with that first equation. So I'm going to put y1 so we know that's what it is. Um, y equals, sorry, 5x minus 10, second graph. So I'm going to just do like two points, 2, 0, 3, 5, 2, 0, 3, 5. So the inverse should be 0, 2, 5, 3. So let's put that equation in, the second equation. Alpha y equals enter is what does my fraction, 1 over 5 x, oops, I don't know what I'm doing, plus 2, second graph. We're going to see if we have the point 2, 0. Well, we do have the point 2, 0, and do I have the point, um, or sorry, 0, 2. 0, 2 I do have, and do I have the point 5, 3, 5, 3, I do, so this is a yes. Okay, let's look at number 13. So, I have negative 3x, ooh, wrong one, sorry. Negative 3x plus 12, second graph. So two points, I have 0, 12, and I have 1, 9. So if I flip that, the inverse of that, I'm going to label it so we don't get confused. The inverse of that should have 12, 0, and 9, 1. So let's type in that other equation. 3x minus 12, and go to my table. So I'm looking for 12, 0, and 9, 1. Well, I look at 9, and it has 15, and 12 has 24. So this is a no. This is not an inverse. Okay, let's do this one. So my equation is alpha y equals enter 4 over 3x minus 12, second graph. Okay, so two points we have, let's go back up, 0, negative 12, and 3, negative 8. So my inverse should be negative 12, 0, and negative 8, 3. So let's type in that equation. So we have 3 over 4x plus 9. 3 over 4x plus 9. So let's see, do I have negative 12, 0? I do. And do I have negative 8, 3? I do. So this is a yes. Okay. So let's look at 15. Oh, sorry. So let's build a table of the original. Negative 3x plus 12, second graph. Um, so we have 2, 6, and we have 3, 3. So the inverse should have 6, 2, and 3, 3. So let's type it. Alpha y equals enter. Negative 1 over 3. x plus 4, second graph. I'm looking for 6, 2. Well, look, there's 3, 3, and 6, 2, so this is a yes. Okay. So I always build the, the first equations table, and I find my inverse table and see if that second equation matches my inverse table. So, guys, same thing for number 16 and 17. I'm going to build the originals um, table. So negative 10x plus 20 second graph. So I have a 1, 10 and a 2, 0. So my inverse should be 10, 1 and 0, 2. So let's try these equations. So I'm going to try the first one. Negative alpha y equals enter 1 over 10 x minus 20, second graph. So I'm looking for 10, well, 0, 2. Well, that right away, that doesn't have 0, 2, so we know that's not my answer. So let's try the next equation. So this has negative 10, x minus 2, second graph. That has 0, negative 2. I need 0, positive 2, so we know that's not my answer. So this should be my answer. Let's double check. 
negative alpha y equals enter, 1 over 10, x plus 2, second graph. Well, I have 0, 2, so that's a check. And let's see if we have 10, 1. 10, 1 is there, so this is my answer. Okay, so let's do that same thing again. Build the table for the original. So this is 2x minus 4, second graph. So I have the point 2, 0, and 2, 0, and 3, 4, uh, 3, 2, sorry. 2, 0, 3, 2, yeah. So my inverse should be 0, 2, 2, 3. So let's check these equations. So alpha y equals enter, 1 over 2, x plus 4, second graph. Do I see 0, 2? No, so this is wrong. So let's try 2x plus 2, second graph, 0, 2, 2, 3. So the 2, 3 doesn't match, but be careful. See how the 0, 2 matches? So we, that's why we're checking two points. So then alpha y equals enter. 1 over 2, I'm going to delete this to 1 over 2x plus 2, so second graph, 0, 2 matches, and then what's the other one? 2, 3, 2, 3. So this is my answer. So make sure, that's why I tell you all to check two points, not just one. Okay, so down to the last three problems. Guys, these are kind of the same. These are the only ones on your test tomorrow that aren't going to be multiple choice, ones like these. So x minus 5, I'm going to hit graph. I see it's a linear line, so it's okay to just graph a linear line. Sometimes we always have to check what shape our line is if we don't remember looking at it, okay? So we have, um, we'll do just any points really, negative 1, negative 6, 0, negative 5, 1, negative 4, and 2, negative 3. This is my x, and this is my y. Okay, so negative 1, negative 6, 0, negative 5, 1, negative 4, 2, negative 3. So this is my line of the original. I'm going to use my ID badge to draw a straight line because I know it's linear. Okay, and so my inverse, I'm going to do it in a different color, is going to be the opposite. So x and y. So negative 6, negative 1, negative 5, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 3, 2. So negative 6, negative 1, negative 5, 0, negative 4, 1, negative, uh, yeah, negative 3, sorry, I'm in my own world, 2. So if you notice, these lines are actually parallel, but they're equal distance from the y equals x, which is what it reflects over. I know I'm not drawing a perfect line, but it's close. Okay, they're equal distance from my y equals x, my reflection line. Okay, so that means I did correctly. I graphed the inverse. Okay, so let's look at 19. We have 4x plus 1, 4x plus 1, second graph. Okay, so I'm just going to do a couple points. x, y, 1, this is my original. So negative 1, negative 3, 0, 1, 1, 5, 2, 9. So we're going to hit graph. Make sure we're going to graph a proper line. So this is, again, a linear line. Okay, so negative 1, negative 3. 0, 1, 1, 5, and 2, 9. Okay. So that is what that line looks like. So then I'm going to do my inverse. So negative 3, negative 1, 1, 0, 5, 1, and 9, 2. So negative 3, negative 1, 1, 0, 5, 1, 9, 2. So again, I'm going to draw the reflection line.
Okay, do you see how they touch at the same spot and like they're the same distance away on every point, okay? So that is a perfect reflection of perfect inverse. Last one, and then we're done. Okay, um, x and y. So this one's equation is a little different. x squared minus 7. So we're going to hit graph. We notice it's a U shape. So guys, don't graph half of the U. Graph both sides of the U. Second graph. So remember, anytime it's a U shape or a V shape, it's going to have the rainbow where the Y's match. So that's what we want to graph. So I have negative 3, negative 2, or positive 2, sorry, positive 2, positive 2, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 6, 0, negative 7, 1, negative 6, 2, negative 3, 3, positive 2. Okay, I know that's a lot of points, but we will survive, I promise, promise. So negative 3, positive 2, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 6, 0, negative 7. Okay, so these are my points of my original. So my inverse is going to be 2, negative 3, negative 3, negative 2, negative 6, negative 1, negative 7, 0, negative 6, 1, negative 3, 2, 2, 3. Okay, so 2, negative 3, if you notice I have a point there, that's okay, negative 3, negative 2, negative 6, negative 1, negative 7, I have a point there and that's okay, Okay, and then 2, 3. Okay, and here is my reflection. So again, if I draw my reflection line, they should always touch on my reflection line. See how they touch on my reflection line? So this is the inverse, and there is my answer. Okay. Guys, if you have any more questions, feel free to bring them at the beginning of class tomorrow before your test, um, or feel free to text me on the Remind. Y'all are going to do great. Make sure you try your best. That's all I can ask. Um, have a good night.